so good morning ladies um today is february 29th and i just want to do a quick vlog to show you guys um my flexi rod i actually sit still this time if you guys watched my video from yesterday you know what i attempted and i didn't use any product on the hair and so it came out really really loose curls which i like they look fabulous yesterday but i wanted more of a curly um look so last night you guys can see i've taken out the back two already. I just wanted to kind of show you guys the curl before I finger comb it. But I took out last night when I looked them up, I just took a little bit of um, White Rain um, Weightless Mousse. And this was just from um, Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. And I put a little bit on the section of hair that I was going to roll up. And I rolled it up. Um, and then once I had it rolled, I did spritz it lightly with um, a little bit of White Rain. Um, maximum hairspray it was like a small glimmer of a mist not anything big so I'm gonna unroll the front part now I just wanted to show you guys as I was doing that how it came out so this is the front section that I've got out so far and I only did five flakes of rods again because that's all I have I only brought one pack because I didn't know if I was going to like it or, you know, anything like that. Sorry, I have a section that was out last night, but I just kind of took it in. I'm sorry if my leave out up here looks crazy, but I'm going to fix that now. Um, as you guys can see, the curls got a lot more body to them. I'm sorry if I'm talking really low this morning, but the husband's asleep and I don't want to wake him up. So... And I'm getting ready for um, the go take my correctional officer test. So just follow the journey. So now I'm just pretty much finger combing the hair out to try to get it done. Lay a little bit better. So, um, I'm not giving you guys the bird, I promise, but I just took some jam and put it on my fingertip. Here's a smooth and shine. It's a super conditioning gel. Not jam, sorry. But it's kind of like jam. Um, and I believe I got this from Walmart. It was like $2.50. But I use that around the edges of my leave out. start with those first. I want to get my edges down so you guys can see. You know, those guys are laid down now. Now I can fix this top part, which is bothering me. This is more of what I was looking for yesterday. It's a lot bigger, um, which is great because the curls start to fall. And like yesterday, it looked really great in the morning. But by the time I went out with my friend and got the lunch with my husband, I barely had any curls left. Like I had none in the bottom and like I just had the top part, which got feathered as I was rotting the hair. So basically, I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and weaving through it now. And as you can see, it's a thick wide tooth comb. Sorry, I'm moisture in the hair. Which, the brand of hair that I have in is by Urban Beauty. It's called True Hair. It's one of their cross blend hairs. Nothing really expensive. Um, I just, I can't see myself going out spending, you know, $100 for a pack of hair. I mean, I just, I don't know. Call me cheap, call me whatever, but I just I can't do it. I, I can't. I don't know. 
and it's just something I can't, I can't physically do and I can't ask my husband to go do it for me. Um, because I normally only wear a hairstyle for like maybe two, maybe three weeks just because I do my own hair so I switch it up so much. So, um, I'm not going to go buy you know, $200, $200 for hair and then wear it for two weeks and take it out. This stuff was $14.99 a pack. Um, it's flat iron color and I say it looks just like human hair, it feels just like human hair. It holds a beautiful curl uh, when you actually do it with the, you know, the curling iron on a flat iron and if you do it with a flexi line, if you do it right, like I did this time, it holds an amazing curl. Um, so basically, I've got the hair to where I want it. So what I just did was I took a little bit of just um, pink oil sheen, sorry, and I just sprayed the hair lightly. And then I'm just going to take my um, white ring, the holding spray, and just spritz it lightly. And what this does is it allows my little feather piece up here. To stay put because that is my leave out and it's my real hair and that tends to be the first thing to drop so i don't want that to happen so yeah i'm really excited with the way it came out this time um it's a lot curlier which is what i wanted so now so you guys can see a little better um so yeah, as you guys can see, it's a lot more volume to it than I had yesterday. It's a lot bigger, which is what I wanted. Um, yeah, so I just think the curls came out a lot better this morning. Um, I wanted to use like a, a set, set in lotion or like some type of curl spray um, when I rolled it up last night for the product. But by the time I got home and got situated, cooked dinner... I had a headache and I just didn't feel like going back out. I didn't have any satin lotion here. So that's why I used the mousse because that was the only thing I had that I could really put on my hair and hopefully get it to stay. But it worked. Um, I probably will still stop by and get satin lotion just so, um, you know, the curls will be a little bit more refined because I know that helps set the curls. Um, whereas the mousse may not have done quite as good of a job but for this morning it worked perfect like loving it loving it and I'm pretty sure I could rake comb it and make the curl you know more defined but I don't want it like that I want it kind of like big and voluptuous um this is my leave out up top as you guys can see um I just leave out like the top cap part of my weave just so I can do like the side part, the swoop that I'm doing, or the middle part, which I'll probably do a video um, maybe next week of me doing the middle part. But for this week, I'm going to rock the side part because I'm feeling the feathering look that I'm getting. Um, the front part of my hair, I cut it a long time ago. I had a bang, and it, it grows the slowest. And I'm guessing because I always leave it out when I have a sew-in. So it grows a little bit shorter, but it's perfect because the way it grows, it makes me be able to feather my bangs like this and I have to worry about cutting my hair. So basically when I do a sew-in, all I have to do is just go down and I trim a little bit just to create the excess volume here, but the most of it is my hair. Like all of the feathering up here as well as here, that's all me. So I really like that. Um, I just want to show you guys what it came out like this morning. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and have a good morning. Bye.